This is a taping technique for rectus femoris muscle strain. Okay, so first thing we need to do is find the rectus femoris. Uh, the way we do this to locate the origin, if you bring your hands onto your hips, and if you feel your hips, you'll feel a pony crest coming round. Follow that pony crest all the way to the front, and you'll feel the bony prominence, hard prominence just to the front. That's the ASIS, and then two fingers inferior to that, just down from that, is the AIIS, and this is where the muscle starts. Okay, you won't feel the AIIS, you just need to be aware of its location. Okay, from there, the muscle travels down the front of the leg. So straight down the front, and then as it comes to here, it becomes part of the quadriceps tendon, and then it racks around the patella, comes out as a patella tendon, and then finishes on another bony prominence just beneath the knee called the tibial tuberosity. Okay, so now we know where our muscle runs from here all the way down. What we can do is we can measure our tape. So the first piece of tape you want to span from about the side of that quadriceps tendon, so just two fingers or so above the, the bend in the knee and bringing it up to just below, about hands width below where the AIIS is. Okay, so we end up with a piece about this long. Just cut this off here. Okay, so we end up with a piece of tape about so long. What we can do then is we're going to cut the tape again just to round off the edges. Rounding off the edges will help the tape last a little bit longer. We just do that. So there we go, there's our first piece. Edges nice and rounded, measuring like so. Our second piece, easiest way to do it, we just measure our second piece the same length as our first. And then what we can do is fold it in half, okay? Once it's folded in half, we can round off the edges. And now we have uh, uh, two more pieces, okay? Now if we've strained this muscle, what we're gonna get is we have pain in the front compartment of our thigh in this region. So what we wanna do first is we wanna put the muscle on some stretch. So we'd be flex the knee and hook the foot behind us. Now the muscle is stretched, okay? And it's in this position we apply our first piece. To apply it, we take the tape and we rip about an inch of the backing off, okay? And then from there, we place this first piece down towards the quadriceps tendon and we lay it flat, no stretch at all, okay? Then with two fingers on the bit we just stuck, if you pull the tape, the backing will lift off. And then you can lift the backing up, grasp it at the end, and we lay this first piece with little to no stretch up the front of the leg, following the path of the muscle, like so. And then using the printed side of the back in, we can just heat activate the glue. Okay, now with the same, the pain we're experiencing is here, what we want to end up with is these two strips across the site of the pain, okay? And the way we lay these is we break them straight down the middle so the tape's in half, give it a tug and the tape will lift, grasp it and pull it back so we're holding the tape like this. Then we go to the site of the pain and this is no stretch, this is 100%, this is 50 we want to go for 75 to 100% stretch and then lay that directly over the site of the pain and then we smooth off the ends of the holding with no stretch at all. Like so. And then we rip the third piece in the same manner, 
straight down the middle. Little tug to break the back in. Peel the back in back. And again, 75 to 100% stretch. And then, so we're putting a cross straight over the side of the pain. Laid on with stretch and then eased off with no stretch at all at the end. So, and then using the back in, detactivate the glue again. And there you go. Taking technique for rectus performance muscle strength.